We're in. All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're a little bit off schedule and in an odd place in time, but that's okay. The show goes on. Life things are happening. So on Friday night, welcome to Tenements of the Great Rift. This is a D&D 5th edition doing it live campaign uh, based on Princess of the Apocalypse, but with a whole bunch of homebrew stuff uh, brought in as well. So because we've hit a pretty major sort of checkpoint in our campaign and because we've hit a pretty big level up for our characters, this is going to be one of those uh, few days where we're actually going to go around the table, introduce ourselves and introduce our characters. Um, and then we'll get right into our recap of what happened last time and get right into playing for the night. So overlay order has Joe first. Go for it. Hello, I'm Joe. Uh, I'm here playing Kalufras Rock 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 from Rock, 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 Rock. It's a mouthful. Um <laughs> Cal is a uh, uh, barbarian, dragonborn, dragonborn barbarian. Uh, Path of the Storm Herald uh, goes through a couple different uh, different stormy type uh, effects when he rages. Um, was once part of the Lord's Alliance and uh, is uh, happy happy sometimes frustrated other times to be part of this group and knocking down uh cult after cult but he's in that grumpy old man mood of like i'm getting too old for this and i, I should have just stayed retired and i thought this was gonna be an easy job and, uh, but he's happy he's happy to be with some very capable warriors and friends all right, that makes uh, Whirl, Andrea, second. Hi, um, I'm Andrea, and I will be playing Whirl. She is the Air Genasi uh, Eloquent Spard slash Genie Warlock. Um, immediately right now, in the immortal words of Bo Burnham, she is not feeling good. Uh, uh, there's there's kind of some, uh, a little more discouragement for usual. Um, there's uh, maybe a growth on her body um, and we're just dealing with it, and we will fucking figure it out, I guess. <laughs> Truly so much anxiety. Uh, I know it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, and that's that's where world's at right now. All right, that goes to Ash. Uh, hey, that's me. Hi, I'm Ash. Uh, I play Is the Changeling Phantom Rogue slash Pact to the Tome Warlock. Uh, I don't really know what to say about her other than she's got major conflicting feelings about what's going on, both internally and externally, uh, and is just just so stoked to be here with friends. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's pretty much all I got. I'm gonna who's who's next? I think it's it's uh, I Logan. think it's me. That it's is you. you. Yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, hi guys. I'm Logan Nerdwardo. Uh, I'm playing Taryn Harris. The tiefling twilight cleric um Taryn's kind of been kind of been going through a lot uh throughout this game and i think that right now he's finally found a a, a stone in this like a stone that he can sit on with this uh group of people that he's found and he's also starting to find a better foundation with like his own beliefs and what he thinks um is right and what he needs to do at certain points in time um yeah having a and pretty and enjoying being with this group of people as well uh i guess that's just me left hi i'm sam uh i play gert the asmr life cleric um and currently she is uh you know panicking because she wants to make sure like she keeps saying that she's got this <laughs> um and uh i don't know that she still fully believes it um she is absolutely becoming more and more chaotic as <laughs> things progress um and yeah she 
is hoping to uh, get this world situation handled. All right. Um, and I am Dat Magic Juice, your GM and shepherd for <laughs> for this group. Um, and I'll get right into a recap. We've heard a couple of allusions to uh, an affliction that Whirl has. So backing up to last time, we took on the second half of a big fight at the what we know as the Water Node, uh, a place that we know uh, resonates with a different plane and um, that, that Gar Shatterkeel was using to create uh, orbs of devastation of water with the tool called Drown that we have now destroyed along with closing the node itself. However, um, an Aboleth, a Hydra, a couple of Chules uh, tussled with us for a while and we learned eventually that the Aboleth was actually the entity that's been messing with our minds for quite a while. Um, and eventually, after proving that we were really only here to destroy the tool uh, and, and close the node and really nothing else, it agreed to let us leave on a condition that we do so peacefully, uh, or in other words, without causing any additional conflicts on our way out. Um, we do some more, uh, we take a kind of different path on the way out than we took on the way in and see a, more, a few more things about this place, uh, which just as a reminder is deep, deep underneath the Desserin Valley, underneath uh, the cult's temple itself. And um, I think probably the, the most significant things that we'd seen along the way back, riding water bubbles along the way actually, uh, <laughs> is a basically like a, sh a wreck of ships like a shipyard wreck. I don't know what the best way to say that is. Um, and actually see a vision of uh, basically what happened to create Gar Shatterkeel as the person or thing that we knew and interacted with when we fought him, um, which is kind of a, a mixture of a, a sad and angry story. Um, we also see some Kotoa that are worshiping the Abolith itself and, uh, you know, decide based on our agreement with the Abolith, we just should leave him alone uh, and we head out. So um, this affliction with Whirl is uh, appearing or at least at first appeared as a sort of rash at a point of impact that she had been hit with one specific uh, tentacle from the Abolith. And um, is kind of like taking on different form uh, until you end up finding out that water seems to stay or still the affliction from progressing, although not fully healing it. Um, and then I'm forgetting exactly how, but somebody learns, uh, I think it was you actually, uh, the uh, Sam, um, Gert, the, the character, learns that uh, incredibly powerful healing magic, aka a, a healing spell of level six or higher, should take care of this. <clears throat> um, we hatch up a plan to have a long rest with watches to make sure World's Affliction doesn't get any worse. Make sure you guys have enough watches and eyes on the, the places that you're in to, so that you don't get surprised by anything. Um, we do manage a long rest. We do have a level up. I, I believe everybody's taking care of that, right? All right, awesome. Mm -hmm. And... Um, I think we finished off with is having a bit of a dream. And then, uh, so here we are. Anything you guys want to fill in before we get right into it? I think that's most no, of I it. I think you got it. Yeah. Okay. If that's the case, then... Uh, Cue the music, and we are off to the next day. So you guys awaken. Um, everybody is other than the continuation of the rash for Whirl. Everybody is revitalized and at full capacity. I also have a level of exhaustion because I likely did not sleep at all in that bubble. Oh, you can make it. Uh, you have to make a con save for that. Yeah, we did that last time, and I have a level of exhaustion. What's that? Oh, you already I said did. We it. did that last time, and I have. Okay. Yeah, we did that last time. <laughs> yep. 
<clears throat> All right, Miss Whirl, get over here. Okay. Um, the, should I? So we're okay. All right. Um, and I will drop out of the bubble. Okay, as soon as you drop out of the bubble, you'll feel that rash sort of start to burn, uh, mm-hmm. just as it did at first. Um, so I pull some of the diamond dust out of my satchel, mm-hmm. um, because I still have enough for three of these. Mm-hmm. Um, two. And we used one. We used one, but I have this one and then two more. Right? We have, we have the 300 diamond, which ideally is the one we're not going to crush again, because the 300 is for pulling some Okay, it was a 300 out. diamond, not a 400 diamond. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Great. So, um, I, you know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to go with a seventh level. Um, we're going to do greater restoration, but cast it at seventh level. Okay. Um, so describe to me what it looks like when you cast Greater Restoration on, on World for this. Um, so I, I gently place my hand, I place one on her shoulder and one on the wound. Um, and it, it just kind of glows and as it glows hopefully everything just goes away (laughs) (laughs) it just starts you know going down and and shrinking uh and that it does so whirl you'll you'll you will you'll all see this happen whirl you'll feel a, a similar cooling effect to when you would have put water on it or gone into the water um, and the rash will like shrink in on itself until it leaves nothing but uh, your average looking scar um, on on your shoulder and you are cured you're still exhausted though sorry babe I think she'll just immediately sigh and like that like oh my god everything's fine cry <laughs> Thanks. oh yeah <laughs> and immediately into the boobs like oh, yeah, immediate, immediate hug. <laughs> that's all immediate that is. Hug. Just an immediate boob hug. Because it's supposed to make like, everything better. <laughs> like one sob and you immediately get bardic inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Is this kind of standing there, like, unsure how to console and just, like, pats you on top of your head, like... <laughs> and then she'll pat uh, the top of Gert's head, like, hey, good job. Good job. I'll, I'll take well more done. hugs if anyone else wants to hug. <laughs> Just do like I mean, a good hug. I don't I don't know what you were worried about. I knew that was gonna work the whole time. That's uh, why I yeah. that's not why I asked four different people if it would work. Uh, yeah. I knew. <laughs> I obviously I knew. I knew it would work. It's just it's just you don't know until you know until it happens. And I'm just tired. Um but also can I just say this is the second time I've had to use this on you, so you really need to get your shit together. I'm, uh, and again, like she's like, so oh. I, I'm fully aware um, that I, I don't know what is happening. I don't know why uh, I keep getting smacked out of existence. Uh, but, but trust me, this is not lost on me. Okay, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, where are we going? Um, Out of here. I think I was going to call the... Uh, well, the entire point of calling the school last time was to get a fast cure, so I think we could probably head to... Uh, try and head to uh, the wind node next. Sure. Is that a cue for me? <laughs> I don't want to. Yeah, wanna interrupt. I mean, we just we need to get out. Start climbing back out. Okay. Yep. Just gonna... GTFO. 
Uh, going back up the stairs, we will end up in a familiar place. Over here. Um, with the waterfall that led down from this known common area between zones to the plunging torrents. Um, so as a reminder, since unfortunately it looks like the uh, the mode to allow you guys to see where you have been really bogs everybody's computers down, so we're just gonna avoid that for now. Um, if you were to go south, uh, that leads to a stairway up to the, the Water Cults Temple. <clears throat> if you were to go south and west, Yep, uh, that that would be the familiar uh, Worm Corpse stairway up to the Air Cult Temple. Um, but your immediate west was a sort of large fungus cave that you like poked in oh. to see for a moment, but then decided not yet uh, before going down. <clears throat> so where would you like to go? Do we I want to do. go in the creepy fungus cave, or I, mean, do I we looked just... at the fungus cave and clocked that it was in fact fungus, um, but we didn't really do anything else about it. I mean, we're all feeling good. Why? Why not? Yeah, I don't think there's anything to really lose if we go. I uh, will be actively touching nothing. I just want everyone to know that. <laughs> I think that's for the best. <laughs> Not rude. Um, <laughs> All right. So who's going first? Um, I have no fear. Let's yeah. fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> I have some notes about this fungus cave. I know I touched. I, I know I thought about the fungus. Yeah, let's, hmm, I can give let's you see a, here. I can give you a reiteration here quick. Um, sure. So a forest of weird fungal growth invest, invest, infests this large cavern. Uh, giant toadstools and puffballs <laughs> stand in and among shallow pools of water or atop ledges along the walls. Uh, those walls are covered by large growths, growths of shelf fungi. Jesus Christ. Oh. Um, and water is dripping constantly from above. Hmm. Looks nasty to me. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of don't. I just don't. don't. Who's going who's, who's gonna to touch it? We, what happened to us not touching things? I totally actively did a not touch last time and now we've decided we're touching things. Well, we gotta no, touch it if we're gonna go in gonna there. Yeah, it. right, but like, I actively did touch it last time. I want you to be touching things. Fair. I mean, I'm okay to just get um, the hell out of here. Hold on. Let me give my mage hand to uh, pull one of these puffballs off. Yeah. Chris. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, so your mage hand is going to go pluck a puffball. Um, mm -hmm. It's actually fairly large, uh, about twice the size of any of your heads. And uh, but clearly the mage hand is able to carry it, so it shouldn't it should be obvious that it's not very heavy. Um, what do you want to do with it? Um, I just want to like put it in front of my face, and <laughs> I want to I want to look at it, and I want to smell it, and okay. I mean, I want to see if there's I want to investigate these mushrooms. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, is there anything in particular you're looking for, or are you thinking more like, can you tell what this is, sort of thing? Yeah, can we tell what this is? Can I eat it? Okay, make a survival <laughs> check. I'm good at that. Gert, are you like one of those people who like goes and forages for your food? Like you're you're a big fan of mushrooms and you have to like dig them out of the ground and shit? Is this, oh, yeah. is this a hobby? Have you have you not heard of Chicken of the Woods? Like 
<laughs> it's kind of the best thing in the world. Do chickens live in the woods? Is that well, chicken of the woods is a mushroom? Oh, and it called chicken of the woods because it looks like chicken. Oh, cool. weird. It's actually like, kind of it's kind does it of have crazy. wings and a face or something? Or no, um, you know how no, that would be chicken know. of the sea. Oh, uh, wait. Yes, <laughs> I'm afraid yeah, no. now. Are, I wait. mean, but chickens do live in the woods, but this is a not meat. They're okay. just like feral, like so, rogue chickens, just like chilling yeah. on their own in the woods. 100%. So we need to find. So, um, find so that's eleven. In the fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's an 11. Bardic, do you have a bardic inspiration? Oh yes, I have a bardic inspiration. Because I really want to eat this. Um, <laughs> so... It's a d10. Or, yeah, yeah, 10. A d10? Nice. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Oh gosh, come on. It's pretty Eight. clutch. A 10, that's amazing. It's gonna get big. Oh, that's oh. a 1! Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Why? Why am I so... I, like, I thought it would go away. I thought that bad rolling would, <laughs> would like, I'd shake it off. We, I was gonna say, do we need to do the, the shake out the ones juju right now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you need to do it? Shake our hands. Here, you gotta do it in frame. We gotta shake out those ones. Everyone Get out of here, one of those ones. Do, 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 do. <laughs> um, so, so Andrea, remind me uh, with your bardic swap. inspiration at this point, uh, yeah. if it, if, with the bardic inspiration roll, uh, we quote unquote oh. fail. Is it yes. remain? Yeah, you keep oh, it I still have it. Okay. Yeah. Great. Okay. Um, Perfect. So that's an 11. So yes, we're for that mechanic, we're counting this as a quote unquote fail. So you still have it, but you do glean some information um, just by having it right there in front of you, if nothing else. Uh, this does not look like any uh, plant or fungus that you have ever experienced. It's mm -hmm. this. It's this strange stringy round i mean i guess it, uh I, gu I guess i gotta correct that it kind of looks like a a dirt formation of like a huge dandelion when it's when it's like seeding not when it's like an actual flower but when it's just the puffball yeah. um but it's not it's not like strands of plant material it's almost like it's strands of mud um and it doesn't have any potency like a smell like any sort of flower or anything else along those lines it just smells like mud and dirt hmm. um does it smell like chicken <laughs> it smells like tuna <laughs> so so i'm I'm gonna flick it. Not okay. like full on touch it, just give it a like, give one of the like little springs, just a little thing to see if like it crumbles off or if it like floats off or, you know, yeah. Yeah, so. It explodes violently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, roll a con save, no, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> So, I'm fully expected it. Yeah, you give it a flick, and and the part that your finger like directly impacts has this poof, and but then just like all of it crumbles to dust on the ground. So like a, a chunk now, and not just the immediate area you touch, but like a an, an indentation shaped chunk has just crumbled to dust on the ground in front of you. Hmm. Well, that's weird. I, I don't know, guys. These are not any... They're all mud. They're not real. We can't eat them. <laughs> mm. That's all I got. I mean, that's yeah. solid. Uh, I feel like, yeah, probably we shouldn't be just trying to eat things that's in, you know, the spooky cult caves. Anyway, so... I guess we did actually eat stuff from a spooky cult cave. Never mind. I'm I, yeah. I retract that. Uh, <laughs> there's like a full ass dinner in one of the spooky cult caves, and we just we, like fully ate it. We, we did, did just, eat a full ass yeah. dinner. Full ass dinner. <laughs> Wait, who's eating the, the mushroom? I'm not, oh, no, <laughs> no, I'm not eating the mushroom because it's okay. it's it's not a puffball mushroom. 
which is what I thought it was. It is a dandelion looking thing, but oh. I just flicked it and it crumbled. So it's not even like a solid thing. Although, see, now I'm curious. I don't, I don't think this is going to prove anything, but Kurt goes to the wall and she like just swoops her hand through like just a bunch of them. Okay. Um, you're going to see <clears throat> just before you walk over the wall to do that, you're going to see the sort of stem of the one your mage hand has. Mm -hmm. uh, it's starting to like crumble within mm -hmm. the fingers in the hand a little bit. Um, you give a swipe at the wall and <clears throat> uh, make a deck save. God bless him. Oh, oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Bardic Inspiration still. And you still your... do you, I do have the Bardic Inspiration. 13 plus 5. Uh, 18. Okay. All right. Uh, you swipe at the wall and several of the polyps and, and puffballs and different shaped things that are sprouting uh, just kind of burst and uh, splatter this mud-like substance all over the place. Um, <clears throat> quick, quick reflexes, none of it hits you, uh, but you can see that uh, as soon as everything like detaches or you know splatters, comes off the wall, as soon as you see it like hit anything else, like the floor, um, it immediately shifts from this mud-like substance to just dry dirt and just hmm. crumbles to dust on the ground. I mean, I don't know, guys. What does it mean? Other than that there's like water somewhere in the walls maybe hmm didn't you say there was there was water just like dripping down on all this stuff so i bet when it like the second it becomes dry it's like oh, and like on like mm. quick it's just quick drying mud yeah like little mud bombs yes hmm. weird okay i don't know the significance of it but i'm okay to press on yeah. It's probably like just Maybe. very creepy, like all those crystals were in the in the one spot. Oh. Mm -hmm. Or it could like, I don't know. Maybe if Marlos was still alive, it would do something else. Hmm. Good point. Um. Marlos or Gar? Both, maybe. This is mud. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. An interesting <laughs> theory, though. Like, what if the other cults had an effect on these places right. in some wow. capacity? Mm -hmm. Like, what if, because uh, my guess would be, like, if that were to happen, maybe instead of just turning the dirt and blowing away, it would, like, turn to stone. And it was, like, made as a trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well... Good thing it's not anymore. Let's go home. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's, oh, set the let, next. Let's, let, let's pop. Let's let's pop all the ones we can see before we walk in, so we don't have to worry about something happening. Wait, we're going in and not just getting out of here. I think. I, I think thought we were in. already in. I thought I was in it. No, I'm. I am not going in there because I'm. I'm over. Gert is things. slash has been in it. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. I'm in it. All right. Yeah, she she had to be in there to touch it. We we <laughs> should make there, it I touch and put you like there. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. but Gert. So um, to to be fair about it, you do see like a good I, enough yeah, sort of paths. pathway. Uh, it does get very close to all of them, but it is it is clear enough that a person at a time, like single file, you could fit through it without touching anything. Um, did I, so I touched the stuff on the wall. Mm -hmm. Did I touch anything on the floor? You tell me. <laughs> I'm assuming you were just sort of like at the entrance here touching the closest yeah, thing that you could see on the wall. touching stuff. Yep. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, 
Guys, we can walk around. Sorry, that's also why I like wasn't saying anything because I wasn't in there and so I couldn't like <laughs> actually see what was happening in here. Um, yeah, I mean, we can just, there's some paths that I'm seeing if we just don't touch stuff. Okay. I don't think it'll be great if you touch it. I don't think it'll be like instant death. Um, but you so might you get muddy. say that now. <laughs> you might get muddy. I know hmm. some of you don't like to be dirty. So, you know, there's looks like there's a, a staircase uh, up that way and looks like there's a path down this way. So okay. I'm probably going to go just look. Uh, do you guys not want to go look? Screw it. Let's go. I really want to go hey. look, yeah. Hey, what's up, Puffball Room? How you doing? <laughs> so, Gert's gonna go down first to see if she can see any more uh, stuff going on in here. Which I down, downstairs. you mean southwest? <clears throat> East. Okay. Uh, yeah, you see uh, that tunnel curving off, so it's a little bit of an obstructed view. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's just gonna keep going down that tunnel. <laughs> okay. Um, there, you are able to see a stairway leading to a. Hang on, I need to double check myself on this. I don't think you've seen this before. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but you see a staircase that, after a few feet, is uh, heavily obstructed by, like, a dark cloud that you're unable to see through. Nope. I do not remember any clouds. Okay. Mm -mm. Then, yeah, this I think this is your first time seeing this. All right. Well. <clears throat> Guys. I kind of... I want to, I kind of want to go, go I mean, it. same. Like, look into it. Yeah. Um, you know my stance on this. I'm here for chaos. <laughs> is is okay. this part of their domain still? Did we not agree that we would leave things as they were? This is the communal hmm. space, so it's like... Do maybe? they know that? I don't know that they do. We're also not, we, I believe we said something along the lines of like, we will not engage with any of your bad guys or cause conflict. Mm. And while one part of me like super wants to go into the cloud because like, of course I do. The other, <laughs> other part of me is having some feelings right now and is afraid to do anything. So. Oh, I, I, Cal, I can... are you referring to the, uh, the Aboliths demand? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yes. I, I just want to make sure that you were still not, you know, even though we may not be within directly their domain, this may still be on the property lines and <laughs> right, still right. going around kicking their roses in their front bush garden here. And I just, I don't, I don't want to cause any undue, uh, uh, undue harm. <laughs> When there need not be. <laughs> Spoken like a new homeowner. <laughs> <laughs> it's such get off my lawn energy. It's can so we good. can we have the can we have the survey, uh, please? Can we look at the plot lines and survey says? Yeah. Can we just make sure the fence yeah. goes on the wrong right side? Yes, we need to make sure that we're not, you know, just <laughs> destroying all of these wonderfully crafted mushroom decorations and perhaps they worked hard on these and we've just decimated a, a whole a children's art room perhaps i don't know i'm just <laughs> throwing out suggestions here i mean listen you're really gonna have to deal with that hoa later <laughs> <laughs> um okay i'm i'm not gonna i'm not gonna beat anybody up I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna poke my head in. Do you need me to like hold you back? 
just in case you have the sudden urge to go beat people up? Yeah. You... Just like, just like hold my hand. Oh, t- I hold, can do that. You hold I my can hand, hold your hand, and I'll, I'll just lean in. Okay. See what happens. And I'll lean back to displace the weight. <laughs> <laughs> so Gert's gonna lean in. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I gotta keep you honest and put you here first and say there's a new area you see. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then shifting you down to here is same thing for you. Uh, at this point is gonna be where you see uh, oh. an area that's generally unfamiliar looking Mm -hmm. Uh, just a tiny bit of it though nothing really significant Uh, but then you're down here okay Uh, okay Gert leaning in hold on (laughs) Um, poking your head through this fog uh you you're gonna realize at first that uh there is a little bit of depth to it so you have to lean in probably a little farther than you thought in order to actually get through to the other side uh and is you realize after a few seconds that she like leans in even farther so you gotta hold on more not to the point that we have to like make checks or anything anything like that but um you know clearly this this sort of curtain has some depth to it and Gert, you're going to feel this weird sensation of, like, um, self-doubt and frustration and anger and just bad feelings sort of all mushed together uh, emotionally for you. Like, at the moment that you touch this, what feels like an like a cloud of oil is the best way I can describe it. Um... And it kind of makes you a little sick to your stomach at first as well. Um, please make a perception check. High five. You're not by them. Oh, yeah, you're, you're not by us at all. You're right. Uh, I'm holding your hand and, and <laughs> bad. also looking out. Yep, I'm all the way back there. Trying to okay. help. Um, I can. The smell on the other side of this so what you see first of all is is a really narrow hallway it looks like it's just barely big enough for like a person at a time to fit through um and it curves off so you're really not able to see anything beyond like 15 feet in front of you and it turns off but the smell in this place is a little bit familiar but you're a little you're a little thrown off by the sensation of going through this cloudy curtain so it's it's a little bit hazy to you all right i come back up it's just a hallway that's really gross ew yeah hey does it look like i have oil on me because i feel like i have oil on me am i am i can you like Try and like slough it off. <laughs> uh, actually, no. There's nothing. Uh, you, when you come back out, both of you are able to see the the cloud is kind of like swirling, in a way that you would expect like a heavy fog to swirl if you were to like disturb it. Um, but for the most part, stays in place, and doesn't really follow you, or and it's not stuck to you or anything. Uh, am I still <laughs> feeling gross? Nope. You're fine now. Yeah. It. It wasn't also, yeah, I just, let's not, let's not. I didn't like that. I didn't like that feeling. Did it feel like bad or yeah, like yeah. evil? No, it felt, it felt bad. And it made me question every life choice that I've ever made. And oh, um, that's yeah, unpleasant. it just made me feel gross. So let's, okay. let's not. Um, I mean. Agreed. When we go back up the stairs, we can see this other hallway, though, right? <laughs> or is yes. there another? Yeah. You can see that. I'm sorry. I do need to adjust one thing here. I'm going to make this smaller because people keep complimenting us on this overlay. Uh, <laughs> and they're really only getting half the picture. So I'm going to move our roll window up there so we can get the full effect here on both sides. Okay. Oh, nice. 
Um, I have yeah. Um, okay, so feel free to move where you would like. Uh, I, I'm sorry if I made it seem like uh, like don't move, but um, yeah, you can you can move at least a few squares at a time, and I'll I'll tell you if you need to hold up. Uh, I mean, is you want to go down this hall? Sure. I'll just I'll hey. just let everybody know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Hey, there's a hallway like down here. Uh, if you stick to the left, it's gross and oily blackness and just <laughs> hating everything about your life. And then to the right, it's unknown. So we're going to go into the unknown. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Remind me, I have a story about that later. Sick. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, we're going. Okay, Iz, I'll have you stop there, please. Hey. Uh, and Gert, if you move up one square, I think you're going to be able to see this as well. Uh, okay. Okay. I can't really um, see anything. I'm actually just realizing that uh, <laughs> what I'm about to describe isn't on the map for some reason. Uh, oh, or at sick. least only partially. But so, you know, theater of the mind. Uh, okay, so you see a bronze torch glowing uh right at right like right in the middle here um next to uh the corpse of a bare-chested person with a shield in the shape of a crab shell and a broken sharp tooth short sword Sar sh shark tooth sword jesus That's christ tongue twister for sure <laughs> <laughs> Uh, several other corpses are scattered on the floor. Some have been picked down to the bone. Their clothing and armor uh, discarded nearby, while others have been hardly touched. Um, from the few walls you can see at this point, um, they're very uneven with small ledges and fissures on, on the sides, kind of all over the place. Uh, and the ceiling is incredibly high. Uh, from where you are, you can't even see the the apex of the ceiling in that chamber um i'm going to uh for our viewers i'm going to throw throw out uh just for the sake of being careful uh light content warning uh there's this session is going to have some gore in it um but we talked about it at least with the with the crew beforehand we're going to basically keep it to like a pg-13 or lower uh rating so hopefully that's okay but just a heads up that's going to be a, a recurring thing in this session. So what would you guys like to do? Hmm. I mean, looks like a death trap to me. <laughs> I mean, so hmm. this is either another flashback area or is a trap. Ooh. I was kind of thinking that this was a prep room for the rust monster, but... Yeah? I mean, that too. Why is the ceiling so high? <clears throat> Weird. Can I get to, like, the edge of this room and, like, do like a general perception check to see if there's anything that really stands out that like might have killed all these guys or something. I don't know. Sure. Um, okay. What's everybody else doing at this point yeah. after you've been told that there's a hallway that these guys are going down? Um, I probably would have started to slowly follow after them. I mean, also probably just follow since I don't know what else to do. So, Cal, I think we're following now. I think that I think that's what was implied. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll I'll bring up the rear. Okay. Um, and is feel free to to move wherever you'd like. Oh. Perfect. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, gross. Weird. Uh, here's here's good. Here's good. I'm a little too afraid to actually go into this room. So, um, 
here's here's some clarification is now that you can actually like fully see it the the green mm -hmm. is that torch um you can see like a kind of stick right. figure thing in there that's that's the torch uh, okay so the, and the red is blood spatter um and the bodies are sort of strewn about throughout that area um please make a perception check okie dokie why did i spell that so weird in my notes okay um <laughs> <laughs> That's a 10. <laughs> Fairly average, I'd say. <laughs> Perfectly <Okay>. average. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing nothing really stands out. You just see these um it, it ju and just as a clarification slash reminder, like all of the temples that you'd been in, the cult temples for the most part were like really clean, pristine um sharp edges, clean floors, uh, this like really high quality stone. And that that sort of stone is still present in this place with like the floors and walls in general, but this place is much more haphazard, uh, like not constructed, but more like chaotically created, I guess, so to speak. Uh, this particular room follows that pattern. So it's it really shouldn't mean too much that that description said so specifically. Mm -hmm. um, but again, the unique thing about this room is that everything to this point <clears throat> has been like 15, 20 foot ceilings. And this one goes up uh, very far. Do you have dark vision? No. Okay. So at this point. I mean, point, I have the, the dark vision that Taryn gave us, but I don't know if that was like, if that happened this day. It has that not. only lasts an hour and I haven't done it yet. Okay. Right. Yeah. Then I so, don't. So, so all you're able to really see is about sixty feet in all directions from the lamp itself, and obviously it's, it gets dimmer toward the outer perimeter of that. Mm -hmm. uh, and at this point, you're not even able to see the top of the ceiling. Okay. Does this place look more like? I don't. I don't what am I trying to ask here? Like this used to be where water was stored and it's like eroded the walls away? Or is it more like the passageways in these rooms have been haphazardly carved? <clears throat> um, Feel free to use to my shit out. perception roll on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are look you're trying to ascertain something a little bit more specific, so I'm just trying to figure out which I wanted to just roll a D20 for now. Okay. Um, and we'll see where that lands. Well, that's an eight, so okay. it's still not, yeah, it's still not great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, I think you don't have anything crazy like plus 10 or more on like perception or arcana or anything, right? I have a plus seven on investigation. Okay, Plus, let's mm, let's yeah. give you that one then. Um, okay. Investigation. <clears throat> hey, dirty twenty. Well, I, I'm I'm gonna just add your plus seven <laughs> to the case. original. Yeah. Well, eight. then <laughs> math is hard. So solid. So 15. Fifteen. Yeah. Uh, oh, I just had that. <laughs> it's it's really difficult to tell specifically you know, what would have caused the spaces that you're in and around to be, to become what they are. Uh, it easily could have been spells, like spells carving or, or creatures or time weathering or water eroding away. Um, I'm gonna say with, with a 15, you can at least uh, you'd be probably lean on an assumption at least a little bit that the clashes of the powerful and lingering magics in the spaces below and above you probably had something to do with it. And the fact that they're oh, okay. so old, it's like ancient magic that's been lingering here as far as you're concerned. Okay. Cool. Where did our friends go? Hey, Gert, do you see them yet? <laughs> um, oh, Taryn's at the, Taryn's at the curb. Hey, Taryn, 
Yeah. This roof is really tall. Uh, you think you could like see how tall it is? Yeah, sure. sure how tall is it? And I'll just come over here and look with your special eyes. I'll just look over there and just see like the massive, just um, yeah, expansive room as I just turn the corner. Oh, it's that big. Okay. Um, you guys, you guys want to want to see it too, or do we want to wait for that? I can bust that out. Real wait, it's fine. Yeah, I just, I just want to know if like you can see the top. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, not from here. Let me. Yeah, come on up, buddy. Scooch on, let me just scooch on by. Uh, I'm just, just kind of stand by. right here and uh, see if I can see the top of the the room from here. Um, you can. <clears throat> uh, from here, you can tell that the ceiling is about a hundred feet off of the floor. Um, and as you look up. Uh, like the moment you catch the the ceiling, you're also going to hear, uh, as well as everybody else, you're going to hear this very low. Mm-hmm. And six beady eyes meet you, Taryn. Uh, oh, it's I need a lullaby. Everybody oh. to make a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, oh damn it! No. Sorry, guys. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> Ooh. Cal is going crazy with the wisdom save. Yeah. What? That was pretty good. I'm okay with that. With I that only 18. do well when we're not in combat. <laughs> I'm not a very wise changeling. Okay. Um, oh, dear. When you hear that, uh, Taryn, you're kind of looking up, and but Gert and Whirl being right there, you see Iz's shoulders just kind of like droop in a sort of relaxed way. And then she just looks at the wall, walks over to it, and starts climbing. Oh, tight. Oh, shit. And we will need to roll initiative when we come back. Oh, Oh, my God. God. Shit. (laughs) All right, we're in. (laughs) We're in. Uh, We're back. Let's, Let's zoom in on this a bit for... Our viewers at home and abroad. Um, Ready? Oh, damn. (laughs) You guys can still hear me, right? Yeah. 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 Mm, I'm a little concerned about this. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) I see. Uh oh. What are you? We're back. Uh, my bad. What are these? <laughs> um, what are these? I think, I think we're these? all back in the right order, right? Okay. The rare what? species. My bad on that. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, time to roll initiative, guys. Uh, and Taryn, we have to keep in mind that you are the only person who can see this. Yep. At the moment. Oh, no. All right. Sick. Uh-huh. Oh, someone what do a scream. <laughs> I'm not screaming. I'm, mm, I'm preoccupied. What? Apparently. Oh. Tied. I have to have this but written down, don't I? I would be able to see is trying to climb up a wall. Uh, oh, I can see it. because I'm here. From the from the faint light of the torch, all of you are able to see is just starting to climb the wall. I've got dark have, vision too. Oh, if you have dark vision, then yes, you can see that very yeah. quickly. Okay. Um Okay, where are we at? Uh, world. 15? Oh. Yep. Taryn, 11. Is? Also 11, I believe. 11 with a 2 modifier. Great. Gert, 18. 18. I can think as a rogue it would be higher. <laughs> and Cal's at 10. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with that is. Sorry about that. That is okay. Huh? Wait, I'm- what? I'm still far. I'm still far behind. Oh. I'm all the way in the okay. back, oh. so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, out. the tank's at the end of initiative. <laughs> uh, okay, so Gert, 
you all, you definitely all heard this this sort of hummed melody, uh, and it was not like one of those in your mind things. You literally heard it, uh, and then something came over Iz, and she just turned around and started climbing this wall. Um, you are the first to be able to act. I know you can right. see the tokens on the board, but keep in mind you can't see those in character. So, what would you like to do? Um, how high up on the wall is is right now? Uh, at the moment, only about ten feet. Ten feet. Yep. So, like, I can't reach her. Right. Not with that attitude. It's. <laughs> I, I treated it as essentially a surprise round of of right. the thing that she's gonna do, and uh, I can't find like a base rule on climbing speeds unless they are explicitly called out on creatures and things. So if anybody knows of a base rule on climbing hmm. speed, I'm just assuming ten feet around for everybody until I can find something more specific. Uh. Climbing is typically two feet of movement per one foot climbed. So, like, in a full span, you can climb 15 feet, which feels a, like a lot. That feels like, huh. I mean, it's I'm, like you're, it's I'm gonna look like into this more. Is that doesn't feel right. Of climbing, so yeah. That would kind of make sense. Okay, so she's 15 feet up. Because your, your movement speed is 30, right? Yeah. Is, okay. If I was with my original roguish archetype, I would be like, 30 feet up this wall, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. All right. Yep. Um. Okay. <sighs> Can my mage hand, like, do any damage or does it just interact with things? It just interacts with things. Okay. Um. Oh. Fuck it. I'm gonna fly. Um. And that thing that I have that I always forget what it's called. The uh, radiant um, soul. Yes, radiant soul. I'm going to radiant soul. And I'm. I'm gonna fly up to Iz, and I'm gonna say, "Dude, what are you doing?" Uh, Can I respond in this? <laughs> you are able to respond if you want to. Uh, you are entirely compelled to keep climbing. Ooh, okay. I have to. I want to see what's up there. I just, I gotta know what's up there. Uh, here, I'm flying. I'll see what's up there. You stay here. No, that's okay. We can both go. Nope. And I push her off. <laughs> okay. So that that is something or is that, that you too, can try. That's another action. Turn. That is another okay. action. Yeah. So you could, you've got bonus actions yet if you want to try anything. Um. <laughs> okay, so I guess. Uh, oh, this is visual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I like. Okay, here's another question. If she moves past me, can I take an attack of opportunity <laughs> as she's climbing you up? You can. Awesome. Damn. Cool. Um. Shoot, I'm trying to get to my bonus actions to see if there's anything else I could do. Um, Try I'm gonna telekinetic shover! Oh, nice! <laughs> Amazing! Off the wall you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, so, is can you make a strength save oh. for me? Okay. How's yeah, it no, that, that fails. <laughs> that fails. So, yeah. um, so, is... I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna push her down. <laughs> okay. Amazing. Um, is you're gonna fall prone and take two yeah. bludgeoning damage from hitting the ground. Okay. All right. Um, and that. That was really mean. 
You stay down. Um, You're not my mom. Gonna, that's gonna bring us to the whirl. <laughs> no. Okay, so I kind of saw is just like shoulder slump and then start climbing up the wall. And then I saw Gert fly up there, talk to her for a second and push her ass down. <laughs> um, and we all heard like some weird music and like not stoked on any of this. So she's gonna get out. Mm, she's gonna get out her uh, dulcim or no, the zither. Um, and she's gonna play a counter charm. So anybody within, I'll get a little closer to this and be like, what are you guys fucking doing right now? And just get like in between everyone and be like, what's... Um, I'm trying to climb up and grip push me down. And she's going to play a counter charm for the next turn or next round. Um, uh, everybody, what is it? Blah, 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 blah. It's like um, advantage against being charmed. Yeah, advantage uh, oh. against saving throws against being charmed. Um, and if you are already charmed, you have advantage to get out. Sick. Because Ooh. something touched your brains and I'm not fucking stoked <laughs> about it anymore. Um, so, and I'm just symbolically using the zither uh, because it does better on charm things when you're trying to force someone to get <laughs> charmed. So, um, um, and then uh, Cal, could you come up here maybe? soon, uh, and you're going to get a bargain inspiration, even though I know you're not going to use it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm on my way. Is everything okay? <laughs> all right. Um, <laughs> so you will all in character notice that the humming is persistent. It wasn't like a one-time thing and then it was done. It, it's just continuing as we go. Um, and now this is the point that everybody needs to make a wisdom save again, including Iz. Okay. Uh, and Imagine. just just in case anybody has it, I don't remember off the top of my head. Spoiler alert, it is a charming effect. So if you have anything uh, that gives you immunity to that outside of uh, World's advantage against the save, keep gotcha. that in mind. Great. Okay. I'll get advantage. Let's go, friendship. Get it, girl. Double 18s. Yeah, everybody has advantage. Hell no. 27. Oh, my time, buddy. oh yeah. God. And that 20, baby. Nice. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Cal, it's oh. you have, have bardic inspiration, and ideally, I'm... you would have understood at this point, because it's been two months, <laughs> what that means and how that feels, and then you could, I don't know, fucking use the die. Cal's on his way, but <laughs> on the wall at the same time. Anyway, I guess I'll roll now. Cal, are you going to use that or, or hang <laughs> on to it? not. What is it? It's a D10? Yeah. D10. It's not going to help, but... If it fa but if it fails, you keep it. Oh, if it my fails, God. Okay. It. Well, it's okay, well... one. <laughs> well, Spider uh, cow. Spider cow. <laughs> <laughs> does All right. whatever uh, spider cow does. Uh, <laughs> Cal, on, on your turn, I'm going to have to uh, take over um, <gasps> for now. Dun, dun, oh, but, uh, Taryn, you're going to see uh, these six beady eyes continue to just like shift across all of you, at, like in this swaying sort of motion on the ceiling. And you can't, again, you can see what these are. Um, I don't know if you know what they are, but they, they're basically, they look like women with wings. Yeah, so I know. Logan knows what they are, but I don't think Taryn would. Um, um, what is your so passive? Uh, investigation. Your passive everything? <laughs> uh, investigation is 15, insight and perception are 19. Okay. Yes. Taryn knows what these are. Okay. Okay. Um, is you have, you, you're well aware of everything that's happened to you. It's not like you're you're just on the ground and like snap out of it and you don't know what happened. Um, but now you no longer have this compelled sensation that you have to be climbing. Uh, so you are prone on the ground, but you are in control of yourself again. Okay. Uh, I will spend half my movement to stand up, um, kind of brush myself off, <laughs> look at Gert and say, thank you. <laughs> um, <laughs> Got it. Uh, I can't see these things, so fuck. Taryn, do you see anything? Uh, yeah, we got harpies on the ceiling. Oh, gods almighty. All right, cool. Sick, <laughs> my favorite. Uh, <laughs> hmm. 
I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to move in to, yeah, let's see, 5, 10, 10, I can go here. Um, and then I'm going to hold uh, an Eldritch Blast until I can see one of these things. Okay. That's my turn. All right. <clears throat> um, for the record, since it is a spell you're holding, you are concentrating on it. I don't. I know that doesn't impact spell slots because it's a cantrip, but you are. Mm-hmm. The concentration rules apply. Okay. Um, Taryn, your turn. Uh, so how high up are they in total? 100 feet. 100 feet in the air? 100 feet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, so I'm going to use my bonus action to start flying. Uh, and as I take off, I'm going to say, I'll try to get them down here for uh, down here for the rest of you. And then I'm going to fly up my 60 feet and then use my Dwarven Thrower and just chuck it at, uh, chuck it at that one. Nice. Damn. So that's going to be a plus 10 to hit. So let's go. Uh, uh let me check here. Biggest bonkers. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah, biggest bonkers. Oh, I love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Roll damage. Um, what is it? Plus it's so 16 one-handed apparently. I, uh, what is the damage if thrown? What is, I think that might've just been if I did a melee hit. Yeah. That's what it was. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, one D, yep, I have to roll the uh, the thrown damage manually. Ah, okay. Uh, so, so yeah, um, it does 3D. And it is, it is actually a disadvantaged attack. Ooh. The, nor- the normal range is 20 feet, the long range is 60. So you can make that throw, it, it is a disadvantage. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, D22. Um, so that's a dirty 20 to hit. Okay, still. yeah, that still hits. Okay, and then I'll roll the 2d8 plus two. Right, cool. So nine damage on that first one. All right. Uh, and that'll be my turn. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, Cal, it is your turn. Um, after I mark. Is it? Damage. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's it's Cal's turn, but I have to make you do stuff. Um, no. What is your movement speed? 40 walking. Okay. So 10, 20, 30. Here. Whoops. Uh, you're going to see Cal move there and start to climb the wall. Uh, Cal, please note that you are five feet off of the ground. Um, Damn it, Cal, not you too! Actually, I did this incorrectly with Iz. I'm not going to retcon it, but uh, I am going to start doing it correctly. Uh, Cal is actually 25 feet off of the ground. <gasps> oh. Cal, uh, you're, you're able to see and hear everything that you can with just the dim light, uh, and you're aware of, of everything that's going on. You just have this really uh, overriding, compelled sensation to go up. Um, so you are here and 25 feet off the ground at this point. Uh, climbing. Gert, it's back to you. Damn it, Cal. <laughs> Gert climbs up to Cal and just, just socks him. I don't think he's Just him. punches him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, um, make an unarmed strike. 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's gonna hit. That's okay. gonna hit. That's a five. <laughs> there was a radiant damage in there. I also have blessed strike damage in there. Amazing. Amazing. Damn. Are, do you choose to add that or is it automatically happening? Uh that's just happening. That's just 
because it, of who I am. Right? Yeah. It is optional in the future, so you don't have to. It just rolls it for you because it assumes oh, okay. you always want to do it. Okay. I mean, yeah, I can probably just give him the one damage, but also a five to Cal is a one to most people. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Basically uh, nothing. Cal, please make a wisdom saving throw. He still has advantage because my turn's not over. Yes. Ooh. And you also technically still have a bardic inspiration because you <laughs> failed it last time. Um, would you like to use your bardic inspiration or not? <laughs> All right, so 16. <laughs> okay. Uh, you snap out of it. And again, you've you've been aware of everything that's happening, but now, uh, you know the the sensation that you feel like you have to climb upward is gone. Uh, but you're 25 feet off the ground, uh, climbing this wall. So, uh, when it comes back to your turn, assuming nothing else changes, this you are back in control of yourself. Uh, Gert, was there anything else for you? Uh, let's look at this. A really bad idea. No, because I don't need to heal anybody yet. So, uh, I'm just gonna move here and, uh, like, let's do. Well, I'm already 25 feet up. So let's go to 50 feet in the air. Okay. In here. Uh, just about at that point, you are now able to see the three harpies at the ceiling. Uh, and they're, one of them is, is kind of flailing from just being hit by Terran. The other two are sort of restless, uh, but staying for the most part perched where they are. I'm gonna say, stop fucking with my friends. <laughs> uh, anything else for you? No, that's it. Okay. Um, all of you are going to see this fucking guy zoom in, hovering above the ground oh, from the north. Oh, what? Uh, and give a, sort of this whip cracking motion with a uh, spiked ball on a flail that lets out a, a small crack of thunder as it hits the ground. Um, that would be one of these guys. Hey, it's a murder dog. It's a murder dog. <laughs> oh. oh my God. That's an pretty air cool. one? Yeah. An air one. Guys, we found the right place. It's my people. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, he's not able to, it's not able to do anything else just yet. So that'll bring us to world. Cool. Um, yeah, I'll do it again. I'm gonna like kind of shimmy myself into here and be like, okay, can we please like continue playing a second counter charm? Um, can we please stop? What is ha? Ah, and just counter charm for the rest of her turn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> since everyone still has advantage on wisdom saves against becoming charmed, hypothetically, should that or frightened, uh, should that hypothetically happen again in the next turn. Okay. Great. Anything else? Nope. Um, Taryn, how far off the ground are you again? I'm 60 feet off the ground. Yeah, I think I, I, it's, I still have Cal, myself, and is in it, and the other two, I believe, have passed it, because it's only 30 feet. Yes. So, that is worth true. a shot. Um, still, okay. still three out of five, so. Yeah, and uh, Gert, you're, you're at about 50 feet as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the harpies scatter, and one of them is going to come here, one here. The other one's going to dash. Uh, come on. Can't do anything else. Oh no. So. <clears throat> Hit me. I want nope, you to. Actually, it's going to be this because you're in the air. I need to remember that. 
Um, um, two of them are going at Gert, and one of them's going at Terran. Uh, with some some clawing, I believe. Got this right. Nope, clubs. Uh, so two at advantage against Gert. Uh, and I realized what I was doing with the whole player view thing before was not working at the way I had hoped because tech technology reasons that I need to adjust. So we are back to what the token says, uh, or what the, yeah, what the token says on the rolls. Okay, so it's a 14 for one of them. And then a 22 for the other. That one does hit. Ouch. Okay. That one's going to be a whopping three bludgeoning damage. Great. Okay. Um, and then one against Terran. Not at advantage because not flanking. That is a 17. Miss. Okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I lied because magical bonus is... Um... I don't think you have the shield out, do you? I don't. Uh, it still misses, though. Okay. Just um, by one. And then everybody needs to, again, make wisdom saving throws. Uh, advantage for the people who are on the ground, but not the people who are in the air. 19. You're going to Nate. Yeah. Re <laughs> Damn it is. <laughs> remind me again if that includes me because i'm does, like because you're 20 feet up well so he's I mean, what you're 25 feet up 25 from me? feet up in the air i mean angularly does he hypothetically would you it. make it all right cool. he, yeah you have it you have advantage i was like i tried <laughs> okay Lock. so many rolls uh all right that's geez. an 18 for me okay <laughs> All right, um, Whirl, and yeah. is Yeet. this sensation washes over is again and Whirl for the first time. Uh, Whirl, if you're concentrating on anything, that's not affected. Mm -mm. Um, it's just that uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you Ooh. guys do this now, so uh, you can help me keep track since it's more than one person at a time. Uh, until further notice. You have to use all possible means that you have to climb upward and only climb upward. Okay. On, on like the wall that's closest to you uh, until further notice on your turn. Cool. Okay. I forgot that I was holding Eldritch Blast, but I'm okay to just like let it go because of this failed wisdom save and also because I got distracted by a burrito. So it's <laughs> <laughs> my um, bad. Well, they're, they're not low enough that you'd be able to see them anyway. Oh wait, no, okay. they are. Oh, wait. Let it fly. Let okay. it fly. Let's do it. Okay. Ooh, get them. Um, they, they did dive down to the uh, the 60 and 50 feet, so that's within your sight range. Okay. Um. I have three beams on this. Let's yeah. go. Yo. Nice. Amazing. Oh, you, shit. Is it, uh, how are you splitting that up? Are you doing separate targets or all to the same? All to the same, whoever's the closest. Okay, that would probably be one of the two that's going at Taryn. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, probably the one that's right here. Unless Taryn's too high and I can't see it, then um, it would probably be the one on Gert. Or all one three, of them longer? You can see all three of them. Oh, okay. Then I'll do yeah. the, the closest one. So 24, okay. 26, and 23 to hit. Yep, those all hit. Okay, yeah. here's first damage. Seven, four. Eleven. And whatever this is. Oh, ten. Ten. Nice. 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 So 21 total force damage. Not bad for a cantrip. Not bad. Yeah. Not at all. All right. And now I want to climb the wall. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, because that happened before you would have been charmed. Um, okay. So, yes, the uh, it's not. Oh, it is your turn now. No. Uh, oh. But we're letting that that happen before. Yeah, that's correct. So now yeah, it's yeah, your yeah. turn. Um, Taryn, you can see that this one that's been attacking you is now in very rough shape from the pew pews that just happened. 
Um, and is... So you had to move about five feet to get to the wall, or is that where you were? Right here. Okay, so uh, including dash... Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> uh, including dash, uh, you are half of your movement speed off of the ground, climbing the wall. Uh, Taryn, your turn. Um, so I can see that Iz is, or yeah, that Iz is like charmed again, looking like she wants to go for the wall. Um, I'm gonna try and do a thing because me and this harpy are both flying. So I'm gonna try and do a Superman thing. So I'm gonna like grab the harpy by like by the collar and then try and fly her into Iz so that I cause damage to both. Oh, okay. Uh, that'll be a, a grapple action then. Yo, that's okay. sick as hell. <laughs> uh, is that unarmed strike or just regular strength? Uh, that's, yes, an unarmed strike. Uh, Wait, let me double check just to make sure. I believe it's just an unarmed strike against the AC. Uh, okay. or, or it's an athletics check. Yeah, I got to check. Um, okay. We'll wait for that. Grapple doesn't happen often enough that I remember. I have a plus seven to my unarmed strike. What the hell? Uh, oh, okay. I, pff, I had it mixed up. So it is technically an attack. So if you have like things that give you advantage or you know, extra bonuses for an attack, it does count as an attack, but you are using a an athletics check. Okay. Um, I don't think I have anything that'll give me any bonuses. So yeah, I'm just gonna go straight for the grab and try okay. to fly and just try to like plow her into the ground. Uh, you gotta beat a six. Athletics. 21. Nice. Okay, so that's your action. Um, yep. And then you're using your movement to fly straight down, right? Just like straight into like the ground slash wall area that I can see Whirl's getting, or that uh, is is getting too, so that I can like try and knock her out of that state too. Yeah, okay. And you have plenty of movement to do that. So um, is make mm -hmm. a dexterity saving throw, please. Okay. Sorry, so 23. Oh, <laughs> yep. Ooh, okay. Uh, so, it's fine. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. is you're, mm -hmm. you're, you are compelled to protect yourself, uh, and this is a scenario where that applies. So you kind of, um, you're able to sort of scoot off of the wall, or uh, like over on the wall just enough that uh, Taryn misses. However, Taryn, roll a... Uh, be six, six d6 well it's slightly different but i don't want to overcomplicate it so yes yeah, 66 okay cool 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 uh boop d6 that's not enough all right cool. 27 all right so on wow. impact uh actually on impact with the wall you'll just hear this bone shattering snap uh, and the harpy just goes completely limp and falls to the ground. Dead. No, but like, look at that roll. That is a lot. That is almost insane. max. That's a lot. Right. Yeah. Dude. You're a <laughs> killer, a dude. <laughs> Jesus. That's a nice move. I like, yeah. I like battles that include being in the air because it just adds a completely new dynamic to the, it's not two dimensional anymore. Literally. Yeah. It's so great. Gravity is, gravity is an amazing ally and a horrible enemy at the end. Yup, <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, that's gonna bring us to Cal. Um, you're charmed, right? No. No. Yeah. Oh, not anymore. I, I was punched out of it and I did okay in the last time okay. and I'm just kind of attached to the wall still. Okay, um, so yeah, you're 25 feet at this point. Uh, yeah, 25 feet in the air, and um, I don't know if I can actually see anybody. Uh, you mm, maybe no, this you don't have one, depending vision, on how right? high up it is. I do not. Okay. Um, 
you can't no you can dimly see the two everybody in the air from the from the torch light on the ground okay Um, but, oh, well, I guess that shouldn't, that shouldn't change if I move to the ground, I guess, right? Correct. Okay. Um, then yeah, I will, um, I guess, somewhat carefully, <laughs> like, slide my way down, um, so that I'm back on the ground. That's doable safely. Uh, yep. So you can. <clears throat> I gotta improvise this a little bit. If you're if you're just gonna jump, you need to make one save to see if you can land safely. Otherwise, if you're like, and that would like save some amount of movement for you, or you can do so safely, use up a little more movement, but no save would be necessary. I get. I guess how I imagine it is like I'm. I'm sort of using uh, using the natural. Uh, I guess my claws as ways of kind of shimmying down. Like just kind of. I'm sort of like locked in, but now I'm just kind of sort of letting myself go and scraping down against the wall as as carefully as I can. So if if that's if that sure. is. Uh, climbing aspect i don't plan on moving that much further so if i if that's like all my movement right there that's totally fine because i'm just going to be throwing a javelin right into this one's um well i guess feet but whatever i can right so i'm gonna i'm gonna say uh to make numbers play nice for us uh and, mm -hmm. and just keep with fives uh 15 feet of your movement is used in order to do this and you're you're back on the ground safe all right. Yeah. Then yeah. Let me throw. Um, if I can even barely make it out, let me throw thunder poke at this one. Okay. Yep, that'll hit. Twenty-one. Uh, eight piercing. Okay. And seventeen. That will hit. Womp. Seven piercing. Okay. Um. And yeah, I guess as a since I've got this as my bonus now, let me um, let me rage a little bit. All right, and what is your aura doing again? Um, the aura uh, is a 10 foot effect. Um, when activated, one creature of my choice in the aura takes lightning damage, but they have to succeed on dexterity save. Um, right. I don't. Uh, since I'm on the ground now, and I'm it's, so it's a ten foot. It says ten foot aura effect, but it doesn't say if it's like just ten feet of like area or like ten foot cube or anything like that. It doesn't specify any of that. I'm counting it as a cube. Okay. Uh, I still think everybody's too high, mm -hmm. unless I'm mistaken. So uh, nope, you're right. Uh, for the moment, everybody's too high. Yeah, then I'll just activate it and um, pass it along. Okay, uh, that brings us to Gert. Flanked by two harpies. Okay, so how far away from me is this guy? Sorry, I'm trying to, uh, the elemental. That is on the ground, so... He's on the ground? Yes. So, 50, 50 feet, 55, given the angle, I'm going to say. Okay. 
So first, I'm going to hit this one with my mace. Yeah. There's a 15 hit. Uh, yes. Remind me who's charmed hits. at this point. You too? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I just want to make sure. Uh, so yeah, 15 hits. Okay, so that is 10 damage. And that was to the one on the left? Yes. Okay. To the one that Cal didn't hit. Gotcha, okay. I am then <clears throat> fully, like, I understand I'm gonna take an attack of opportunity here from both of them. I get that. I'm gonna drop down 20 feet. Okay. Uh, yes, they will both react. One is an 11. The other is a 16. Neither of those hit. Cool. Okay. I am then, as my bonus action, because this is a fucking bonus action <laughs> that I just saw, I'm going to cast Divine Word at 8th level. Oh, shit. Ooh, at 8th level. On, on all three of them. Yeah. I need a Charisma saving throw, please. Get him! From all three of them. Get him! <laughs> Let us pray they are not charismatic. Right? <laughs> oh, come on. And not a lot of things uh, are. Da, 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 da. Okay. Christmas saving throw. I don't know. A man made entirely of wind is pretty, pretty charismatic in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. I uh, feel like that's correct. It has to be. He's the only one I really give a shit about. Cause I don't know how many hit points these folks have. So they may not even be in the, in the, the realm, range. but yeah. regardless of hit points. They they Something's did. happening. Yeah. Okay, uh, both of the harpies instantly go into uh, rigor and fall dead to the ground. Oh, that's that's hell yeah. Yeah. All right, come on, okay. buddy. And the come on, the buddy. Take my no Take my no Blind. Come on. Fifteen. Oh, oh, my my modifier is fifteen. Oh, needs oh. it. Does oh. nothing happen or does he get hacked? Nothing happened. Nothing oh, happened. No, because oh. because he the mm. only thing for elementals is that they're gone. Yeah. Oh. They're essentially oh. they are banished. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I mean, at least I got rid of the harpies. But yeah. yep. Oh, that would have been. Now yep. we have one target. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, uh, guys. Nice. Very nice. Anything else? Yeah. Since they're banished, or since the harpies are dead, how is the... No more uh, charm. Mm, okay. Cool. Yep. Too bad I was ready to dimension door up that wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear sweet baby Jesus. Yeah, I realized yep. I had that and I was going to have to be like, hey, Jesus. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay. Yep. Um... So that's my turn. Okay, uh, that'll bring us to this dude who's going to, uh, oh, you're, yep. He's gonna wisp over here to is. And um, here's the thing. What's up? Would I be able to get an opportunity attack or would he, he'd probably take the path that wouldn't do that. Uh, you are too far <laughs> off the ground yet. I, I smashed into the, like, I'm on the ground now because of the flying, so I would you, like... You smashed right. them into the wall. Uh, is okay. how far off the ground are you? 25 feet. 25 feet gotcha. in the air. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, then... No, never mind. Okay. He didn't get near me. Or he didn't go close enough to me. Uh, okay, so... Yep, he's gonna take this, uh... Flail attack against you with a 15 to hit. To me? Yes. 25 feet up the wall? Oh, you're 25 feet up the wall. I just <laughs> said that. <laughs> it's Freaking okay. Hell. It's okay. Uh, it's gotta be it's gotta be world then. 
because you're the closest one it can see. Cal, you're kind of around the corner there, so I can't really see you. Sorry, 15 to hit Whirl. Yeah, that's gonna hit. Okay, uh, that's going to be nine force damage, and you'll hear uh, an all too familiar crack of thunder on impact. No. It's going to be an additional 18 uh, lightning damage. And yeah. I need to make a constitution save, please. Yikes, 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 yikes. <laughs> That's okay, it's okay. Okay, you are, uh, you're, you feel this like shockwave go through your entire body uh, that you know could have been debilitating, but you are okay. <laughs> Guys. I can't get fucking con. Not again. <laughs> I am aware. I am very aware. Uh, Iz, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got is it sick? Is it? Ha, ha, ha. I feel like, uh, yeah. yeah it's Whirl's turn. Good call. Yeah, I was right. like, oh. I skipped you. I'm sorry. There is. Uh, well, that just happened to me. Um, oh, boy. I have some thoughts, and they're all too high. <laughs> I don't want to do those. All right, fine. <laughs> um, I'm gonna like feel that energy go through me and just look at him and say, two can play at that game, which, uh, nah, I won't do that to him. Um, I'm going to cast Chaos Bolt at third level. Oof. Okay. Nice. Get him. Let's see if I hit him. Wow. Uh, 20 to hit the murder uh, Yeah, that hits. Good, because he's the only one left. Um, Oh, actually, disadvantage roll. Oh, uh, so we do it every time. Yeah, it's a it's a ranged attack, so it's yeah. a disadvantage roll. Oh, that's a, that's a one. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh. crap! There it is. <laughs> um, that's the chaos. Yep. Yeah, that's the chaos. Um. Uh, screw it. When I said uh, two can play, like my anger to can play at that game thing that I forgot just now um, <laughs> is going to be an unsettling words on him. So his next saving throw, he has to subtract a d10. Okay. Ooh. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. And that's not a spell, right? That's a feature. That's a that's my bardic oh. inspiration. Okay. Wait, about Let's go. <clears throat> cool. Anything else? Not for me, because if I move, he'll do something mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is now it's your turn. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I'm right next to him. Damn. Most of my shit is wrenched. You are what on the wall. Is... <laughs> yeah, you're 25 feet in the air and he was... <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. Um. Thank you, Sean. Well. Ooh. Sorry, I, I had a plan and then it just completely changed. I should have I should have had a backup. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's okay. I, yeah, I hear that a lot from myself. Ooh, okay. Uh, ooh, okay. This could be fun. It probably won't work, but it could be fun. <laughs> uh, Iz is going to like slide down on the wall and kind of like catch herself just above this guy and just reach a hand out to it uh, <laughs> uh, try and uh, like touch any part of it that she can maybe even just like the top of its creepy little head uh, I'm gonna try and cast vampiric touch on it okay Zoinks. please hit because this is cool Get up. does not hit does not hit Goodbye, spell slot. I only have the three. Yeah. <laughs> Warlocks. Fuck. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna we'll say... take a coffee break and you'll get it back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that would uh, so twenty feet of careful sliding. I'm gonna say that used up uh, ten feet of your movement to do that. Okay. Um. Wait. Wouldn't it? Wait, my brain. Is you're, it backwards? You're or? like sliding down, not climbing up. So it's yeah. not oh. It's not two for <laughs> one, it's kind of the other way around. 
Okay, cool. Uh, then I'm gonna do like a little kick flip off of the wall and use my bonus action to disengage and get the fuck away to, from this guy. <laughs> 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 All right, goodbye. And that is. I think maybe that. That's probably the furthest I can get from him, and then that's it. I'm just nice. gonna cry <laughs> in spell slots. Yep. <laughs> All right, Karen, what's up next for you? Um. I'm gonna look at the guy and, um. Say. Um. Uh, I think it's past your curfew, and we're gonna cast banishment. <laughs> He has to distract it and subtract a d10 from his saving throw. Subtract a d10 from the charisma save, please. Oh, not even necessary. (laughs) Uh, All right. (laughs) Yep. Um, The elemental poops out of existence. Uh, Shit. We are we are out of initiative. For how long? Uh, he was oh, a native. He was native to the plane of yep. air, so he's I just gone. That out, yep. As I said yes. about that. Yep. All right, guys. We're out of initiative. The battle is over, um, and that is looking like a really good opportunity for us to take uh, another very brief break. So we'll be hey. right back. Ooh.